किया Hello students, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hello. Welcome. How are good you evening. today? Good evening. Good to see you guys. Hey, are you ready? Yes. That's yeah, always awesome. ready. Much better. Thanks a lot. So congratulations, guys, always because you are here on time. And, um, you know, it's uh, something interesting to start always like with a good motivation. The motivation is very important. And uh, we had to, you know, feel good, you know, try to um, learn and maximize your skills. So I just want to ask you before starting. So how was your how was your day? How was was good, successful, challenging because of the rains, because it has been raining a lot in the morning. So how was it? How was your day? Today uh, was um, maybe quiet, but I a little tired. You know, yeah, I think you had a, a very busy day. And it, it was very busy to you. Yeah? What? It, it, uh, it was a very busy day for you. Very busy with different activities. Yeah. Uh, I went to... To... Nehapa today. Oh, okay, you traveled yeah, there. Yeah. And it, it was it was raining. It was a, a little complicated. <clears throat> yeah, I, <clears throat> I was raining uh, from from the early to midnight, mid uh, midday. Midday. Midday, midday. Okay, okay. Well, I imagine that uh, it was a little bit challenging, especially when we're driving. It we had to be very careful because, because of the rain and uh, well, the weather affects sometimes vehicles. So that's why it's important to be very careful when driving. Okay, so let's start now with the class, and I hope that you have had a great time, 
and uh, we continue with the program. The most important is to enjoy what we do and also show that we are ready to continue with this process. Remember that you are by your advanced, you feel good because you have a different level now. And this, in this course, you will improve a little bit more for this. Well, before starting the class, I just want to ask you, who wants to help me uh, explaining what we did yesterday? What do you remember we socialized in the class? What we did, who wants to be the volunteer? To say, teacher, well, I just want to tell you that yesterday we had the opportunity to practice with partners and we did this one. So explain me, what do you remember? No one? Um, yesterday, I remember I, we saw um, the, the answer, uh, the four questions, uh, talking about uh, the keep developing, challenges enough. Uh, what is the focus in your professional development? I think yeah, I uh, I listen listen to uh, the audio uh, the audio and, and I I feel feel. I feel the, the the four five five sentences the three option okay thank you so much i really appreciate it yes uh, we developed different activities um uh, concentrated um, in, in the in the in the topics the general topic about development about you know development of personal management and also learning skills that was good thank you so much we will continue guys uh, with the next topic that we will develop today but always it's important to have a feedback of the activities done during the class and also to remember uh, one of the things that we were studying especially when we're talking about advanced uh, the grammar vocabulary so discuss negative effects on lack of programs for professional development as we know and we we think about how can we be better professionals how can we improve how can we learn how can we update the way that we are working using new resources tools etc but also it's important to concentrate um in the following topic, the negative effects when you don't have a professional development, when there are no trainings, when there are no workshops, where there are no preparations, when there is no organization about what we do, when we are not improving, when we are not using appropriate tools. So we're talking about the negative effects at the end is going to affect us because there are some people who work in a company and they do the same things for a long time and they don't grow as a company, they don't have better results, they don't like go beyond their goals, they, they always are like complaining about different things. And the uh, most important is to emphasize that uh, sometimes if we don't innovate, it could affect the company, it could affect our work, and it could uh, bring us some challenges inside the company. That's why uh, we will uh, focus about this one, about the net effects when there is not uh, a program for professional development. And in the last class, we're talking about the use of commas. Do you remember? And uh, we were saying that, uh, that we have some examples whenever uh, there are three or more items in a series, each item requires punctuations to separate it from the others, right? And also we have, for example, the items in a series that can consist of any words, phrases, or clauses. And we saw some examples yesterday. And the comma uh, before the last element in the series is optional. So that's one of the things that I explained yesterday. 
in that case, uh, before the last element is optional. It doesn't affect. And uh, we were saying that in order to keep growing professionally year after year, it is necessary to maintain, comma, improve, and broaden your set of skills. And we could see the example uh, in this exercise. And we have other examples like the part B. Uh, continuous professional development can be done in different ways, such as self-directed learning, comma, mentoring, comma, and reading a wide variety of topics. In that case, the comma before the last element in the series is optional. So it's it's not a mistake that hey we didn't we didn't add the comma before the last element. Well, in that case, it's optional. So we can add it or not. It's gonna be up to us. And also we talk about occasionally separating the items in a, in a sentence with the commas only omitting and or or another coordinated conjunction be, before the last item can help to add the uh, emphasis on what is being said. We have the example, like we encourage our employees to think about what they want to do or find out what skills they need, comma, uh, pinpoint their ambitions. So look at this. We could check that uh, we, uh, we encouraged our employees to think about what they want to do, comma, after the idea, find out what the, the skills they need, comma, and pinpoint your uh, ambitions. And also look at the next one, like a continuous professional development approach will help you analyze your performance, comma, be more effective, comma, and increase overall adaptability to changes. So we can separate ideas by commas. Those are the, the, the most valuable uh, roles that we studied yesterday. And we had the chance to see some examples, some exercises that we worked together. And uh, we missed one exercise that I'm, sh I'm showing you right now in the presentation. That's the one that I have here with me, one second. It's this one, right? So we had the opportunity to check the first exercise and also the second one, right? And you also can see also the class by any chance you wanted to check the class, the previous class, you can go to the platform and you can watch the video about a class because sometimes having that we have some difficulties with the internet connection or suddenly we didn't have batteries so we couldn't see one part of the class. So we just uh, go to the platform and check the recorded class we have. And you can also watch the class again by any chance you didn't understand one specific point or you want to reinforce the contents. This is a, an advantage in that case to have a recorded class. Okay, let's continue with this exercise. We have the number three, professionals who help people continue their professional development are committed to providing examples, example learnings, opportunities, tools, and resources to help them meet their goals. We had to identify in this case, uh, the correct punctuation, mistakes in the following sentence. Look at the number three. So you can help me to check if there is something that you say, like teacher being honest, I think that this doesn't match. Look at this. Look at the examples and tell me. I give you one minute to check and you can start telling me, teacher, I think the number three, the modification is this. We can modify this so you can also tell me that.
Okay. Um, are you ready for the number three? Remember that we can also separate uh, elements, phrases, or statements, or closest. So look at this one. What do you think about the number three? Is there something that you would like to change or a comma they would like to add or remove? What do you think? I think teacher would remove in in our group in our group yesterday we talked about the the in learning we have to eliminate or remove because they are committed to providing ampler learning opportunity. We are thinking that is a whole sentence. Learning opportunities, no separate. Oh, to to have one word like a uh, ample learning opportunities. Yes. One one right. Yes, one. Yes, and we have to remove in learning the comma mm -hmm. after learning comma mm -hmm. and ample learning opportunities comma is okay. Tools and resource and resource to help them meet their goals and finish this the idea right. Yes, we are thinking yesterday that we discussed that in our mm -hmm. group yesterday, but. Okay, so ample learning opportunities, tools, and uh, resources to help them meet their goals. Yeah, I think it's okay because there are two main ideas in the sentence. So I think it's, it's very important to, to emphasize the, the point. If you don't find elements, you find ideas. If you don't find ideas, you find statements. And that's okay because the first part is a general idea. All right. Something else that you would like to add or any comment related to this exercise? Remember, you had a freedom to talk and you express your ideas or opinions. Yes, tell me. No? Okay. Look at the next one. Uh, technical professional development refers to any piece of learning related to your industry which may include professional qualification conferences, qualifications, conferences online, learning and writing, reading technical articles. Well, it is very complicated reading when there is no, there are no pauses. That's why commas is important because if there is no a comma or a period or point, you read everything and then it's, it's a mess. So you have to make pauses because the sentences are long. So we need to make pauses. So, I want you to check the number for it and uh, you can tell me if there is any anything that you would like to modify in the sentence uh, when we talk about punctuation, we can check that. Okay, ready to socialize the number four? Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Professional qualifications is separate of conference. Okay, so let's, okay, let's see. You say uh, professional, sorry? Professional qualifications. Okay, that is one. Coma. Coma. Conference on online or conference only. It, the, the problem is uh there's there's some good uh conference only in online learning. Um professional qualifications, uh, conferences online learning. 
o only conferences online only learning conferences. and um when we talk about conferences we talk about online learning too so we also can separate them or we can join them yes it's confused so, so what do you think? Uh, would you like to join the, the ideas? Mm. Conferences online learning. And so in those Maybe. conferences, Maybe. You can, yeah, in those conferences, you can also learn. And also this learning is online. Perhaps there's an opportunity and writing are reading technical articles. If you can see, are not short elements or big elements, like contain more than two words. So perhaps we can also match this one. Technical professional development refers to any piece of learning related to your industry, uh, which may include, um, here I could recommend like two uh, kind of periods, uh, professional qualifications, conference online learnings, and writing, reading technical articles. Also, there is a, a good opportunity if you separate them, uh, the ideas and also the sentence will have a meaning, will have a context. What do you think? It's okay. Yes, the conference online learning is a phrase, it's a long phrase, like a writing, reading technical articles. Exactly. So the three of the three of them are long statements or phrases. So in that case, uh, we have the same path, right? In that case. Okay, look at the number five here. No technical professional development refers to soft skills that can be ap applied in any industry, management, leadership, and strate strategy or strategy development. So we can also check here the there is a soft skills and you can see that. So check in, tell me what do you think about the sentence? Fisher, sorry, I, I just have a question on the number four. Yes. Uh, is professional qualifications, comma, conference online learning and writing reading? Yeah, Be in the comma and that's the uh, after learning is not to, because you have the end, the, the connection. Yeah, it's so, not necessary. Yeah, it's, it's not, not nec necessary. Okay. No, it's not necessary to use it. Because end is the last idea. So in that case, you don't, you don't need to separate because it's the conclusion of the idea. So that's why it's not um, important to add it according to the rules. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ready now? Okay, what do you think could be the, the first, the comma or the modification? This one is very easy because our uh, short elements that we had to separate by commas. Where it goes the first comma? Of their management. Okay, great. 
Next. Sit. <laughs> Just one, I think. And a strategy development, right? So we can also check that uh, those are short elements. It's uh, always um, important to check the context. Remember that the commas separate elements because if we don't use commas, it will be a little bit difficult because um, we, we will have some difficulties to, to separate ideas. So according also to the rule, we were saying that the comma before the last element in a series is optional. So in that case, we have uh, management, leadership, and a st a strategy development. So I could use in that case the comma uh, after it, before end, or also uh, no use it because it says that it's optional. But in the examples that we have studied before, we can use it. And we can use also the comma here. So it's, it's, it's gonna be optional, exactly after leadership, according to the examples of the rules that we have studied. And um, the last one, and number six, is some examples of professional development. Um, options include online learning, reading. Wow, what is that? <laughs> Articles and uh, comma and reports, uh, conferences, workshops seminars and virtual classrooms. So we need to make changes here in this punctuation. You can also see it uh, meanwhile reading because you're like making forced poses in, in the article. Look where the first comma goes. Online learning is the, the phrase, the, the first phrase is online learning is the word is okay. not On separate by comma, it's at the after learning maybe. Online learning, online uh, reading learning. articles, do you think goes the second one? Yes, reading Re articles, articles and reports. Reports. And in plural, so we, you cannot, uh, you have to separate it because we're using reports mm -hmm. as plural. Conference. And conferences, sure. workshops. workshops. Semin all of them is plural. Seminars mm -hmm. and virtual classroom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So are different, uh, different words or different elements. But in that case, we have to eliminate and the... Um, the first N, because online learning, comma, reading articles, comma, reports, comma, conference, comma, workshop, comma, seminars, comma, and virtual classroom. This is exactly so. In that case, the end uh, has to go at the end, right? So we don't need it here, even because we cannot like duplicate N in a series of words. So in that case, online learning, reading, uh, article report, articles, reports, conferences, workshops, seminars, and virtual classrooms. So that would be the correct way to um, use it in that case in the sentence. Because people use and and and, so it's not possible to use it. And also the commas are used in a good way in this case workshops and seminars and virtual classrooms. Remember that it's like Spanish, that you have to uh, separate ideas by commas because if we don't separate them, there are no poses and the reader has to read long sentences. And also uh, it looks um, that the sentences are doesn't conclude or the sentences don't conclude. That's why it's important always uh, separating by commas. It, it's, it's about practicing. Any comment uh, before concluding this part? Any comment? No? No. No. no not okay. Teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Well, let's continue to the next part of the, the class. And we're going to, well, let's see, just going to move on to the next slide. We have a different activity to share today in the class. 
related to you know development. Look at this one. See, one second. Look at this. Okay, we have the next activity and also look at the following uh, video and answer the questions. I will share with you guys a link by this chat and I want you to check uh, something interesting about this video. And it gives us very, very valuable information and you have to respond the following questions. Why is employee training and developing important? So we had to analyze the, the reasons why it's important. You will listen to the person um, talking a little bit about the importance of this one and what are the benefits that employee training and what are the benefits you can find and developing has. So you can also think about the, the benefits, right? So that is something good. So let me share with you by this chat Look at this. First, I want you to uh, check this one. Okay, so I will give you um, a couple of minutes to watch the video and also answer the questions related to uh, this, this video, the two important questions about the uh, training and developing.
Okay, uh, almost ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, that was a very nice video. I, I could have the opportunity to watch before it. And um, there are important points about the, the importance related to, to trainings, to have trainings where we are. It's always necessary and there are important benefits. So first one, we had to focus about how important it is and what we do. And the second one, uh, separately, what, what, what are the benefits that maybe having those kind of trainings can help, especially employees in the process. So I need a volunteer for helping me to read the first questions. And given the, given uh, the first opinion, uh, what do you think about this? The first question. I see you very quiet. Remember, participation is important. Okay, so uh, don't hesitate to ask. You know, you had a freedom to talk and the goal is that we can practice and then you had to show that you're advanced. So speaking is very important in this and also the way you talk, it's the way, you know, you get confidence, especially when we're having a conversation or talking or socializing important topics. So who wants to help me to share your personal opinion about the first question? Can I try to share? Yes. Yes. Uh, according to the, the video, uh, the why is employees training and developing important uh, in the video say that is is important because so when you training your your employees you you reduce the cost in the in the company because they are they are more cap cap capable capacitado capable 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 and 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 is is more investment for you i think yeah it's a personal investment mm -hmm. yes yes thank you so much for that okay someone else that would like to share um his or her opinion related to the first question yes somewhere Um, no one else? Okay, no one else with the question number one? Okay, well, so if nobody talks, I just gonna give us uh, some important uh, feedback uh, related to the first one. As you know, it's important uh, to have this kind of uh, trainings because the goal is that we have more tools for success, especially what we are doing. There are things that perhaps we are doing for a specific moment, time, waste, strategist, but at the same time, a skillful employee can be uh, much better, more efficient, and also proficient about what he or she is doing. So that's why it's necessary because the goal is rich in the process. The goal is gotten, is also successful, and also you get experience. When you work um, under a preparation, under a specific training, you don't have difficulties to handle or manage situations in the company. Yesterday, we were saying that the 21st century is skills. One of them is to solve problems. When solving problems, a, 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 an employee is capable to perceive some possible situations in a company. And also, this employee tries to 
uh, solve the problem before happening and also that can help the production or the way they are working. Okay, let's see the question number two. What are the benefits that employees training and developing possessed? Uh, what do you get from the video according to the benefits? Yes, one of the of these benefits are is um same time. I remember that. Okay, saving time could be one. Okay, uh, that is important. Definitely, that is a good uh, benefit. Okay, what else would you like to add? Um, increase the, the ideas. Uh, it is very important because the, the employee have a uh, new ideas and try to to employ um, uh, applicate it for uh, apply for the job. Mm -hmm. Apply, apply for Thank you so much, uh, Juan mm -hmm. Carlos. Okay. Uh, someone else? According to the video teacher, uh, so the lower overall employees turn over all the less us assess them. Finally, the training tends to create a more efficient employees to, to the company because they, they are need less supervision and new positions. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, that's okay. It, we have uh, some uh, important benefits that can help us especially in the process. We we are aware about the things and also we are aware about what things happen. And, and that is the one of the points. We have in, in interesting benefits. That's why companies spend a lot of money in trainings for employees, trainings, workshops. There are companies that they at least employees should have like three, four, five uh, trainings during the year or workshops with the purpose to uh, help them to maximize their skills. If they do that, they become successful. In successful employees make a company big and also very, very, very proficient. Okay, any other comments before we move on to the next exercise? I don't know if you have any other questions or comment related to the information as seen in the video. Yes, and the video say that increases satisfaction in their employees. Maybe you can, you are more able or you are able to resolve and solve problem efficient or better <laughs> yes thank you yes definitely that when you learn something it's like oh, hey you know I, I can do that i learned something new and when you learn something new you feel motivated if you're motivated you try to apply what you know and it happens you know i got a difficulty with something specifically and um, th does anyone from here knows about how to work with this? And the other person says, yes, I know. I know how to do that. I have been in a training. I have been in a workshop and I know how to do it. So do you want me to help you? Yes, of course. And you start like, you know, helping other people to do a specific task or something else. So they feel motivated, encouraged because they learn something new uh, for, for him, herself, or at the same time for the company. That is um, a very nice point with this. Okay, so you don't have to forget this one. And we are like, with these classes, now we are committed to, you know, to learn and uh, to be updated. You know, me as a teacher, I, as you know, I have around, um, you know, many years working with this. 
And in class, in my classes, I always try to update something different with the strategies, ludic activities, games, things that perhaps we need to work with the goal that our students can feel like motivated and encouraged to do uh, something do and learn. That's what we want. Okay, we had to answer in pairs the following questions and explain your answers. We have some specific questions because I need you to speak, guys. I need you to produce your English. Remember that, for example, we want Carlos, Sufrido, Josman, and uh, many of you at the end of this course, you have a very strong English level a good capacity to communicate actively with a great accent, pronunciation, and also fluency. If you have these skills, you're going beyond your English level. So that's why in this class, we need to speak, we need to produce, we need to learn, and we need to show what we know. That's one of the things that we need to get from this class. Well, we have uh, some questions that I want you to socialize with your partners. And we have the first one that says, what is your best skill? We're talking about our jobs. I mean, we're not talking about some other things. Teacher, I'm good for playing soccer. No, we're talking about our jobs, about what we do in our company, what we do in our in our position in our company. So we're talking about this one. What is your best skill? Well, teacher, uh, my best skills that I can communicate actively and I can express um, ideas or instructions to the employees and I don't have problems with that. Oh, one of my best skills is that I am an organized person. Everything that I do, I always organize everything. Or maybe one of my best skills is that I, I am a leader. And also I motivate my workmates, or my colleagues to do something good in the company. So I'm a good leader. Or maybe one of my skills is that I know about, you know, computers, I know about the programs, I know about uh, technology, so you're good for that. So think about what is your best skills and what you do in your job. Uh, do you have any surprising skills? Maybe if you have any surprising skills that some, some other people don't have, so you can also highlight. Well, the thing is that I, I speak three languages. Ah, this is a surprising skills, yes. In my companies, I don't apply that, but I, I know this one. Or well, for example, I, I know how to manage some specific machines, etc. And the next question uh, that we have here is this one. What is your profession? So what what you do? Well, uh, I'm working in this specifically. Um, I'm a, an accountant, so I'm an engineer. So I'm an employee, I'm a supervisor, I'm a quality control. So you can also talk about what you do. And are you very skilled at it? Yes, I think I'm skillful, but it doesn't mean that I cannot learn. So I always try to update. So you can also talk about that. What skills are you working on at the moment? And the last one, which skills would you like to have? Well, I would like to, you know, to know more about machines, about more te technology. I would like to program, um, I would like to do that one or create applications. So you can talk about some important aspects related to this one. So I will give you a couple of minutes to answer these questions. And later we're going to, we're going to socialize them in the breakup rooms, the following questions. I'm going to use the chat to take a picture and also, you can also check the questions in the group. One moment, please. Look at this. I get it.
Okay, taking advantage of all the time we have here, I'm just going to check the attendance list. So be ready. And when I when you listen your name, you say present. And don't forget that in the chat we have these questions and also in the press the presentation too. Okay, let's see. Uh, Diego Josue Benitez. Let's see. One second, one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm checking here the attendance. I need to update it. One moment, please. Much better here. Okay, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose. Absent. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose. Salvador. Uh, uh, Josman Atilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin. Alfredo, it's not. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Person, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Cerna. Uh, present, teacher. I write to you in the chat. Eh, Rafael, right? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Ciprido Ernesto. Present teacher. Thanks. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Thanks. Okay, by any chance, if you have any questions or doubt related to the questions, you get a freedom to ask. Teacher, will and I have a question about the number two? I don't understand, or can you give me examples? So remember that you had a freedom to ask. Also, you can use the chat to ask questions. Remember that we are here because we are learning. If you don't understand something by any chance of life, you can also ask, you know, teacher, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand this part. Can you explain me again? 
And I, I'm just here to help you because the purpose is that you can learn, you can improve, and you can practice. Okay. ¿Se acordó? No, de que, no, de que por lo menos... Ok, ¿almost ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> Someone else say yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Much yes. better to me. 
Well, so we're going to take a short time to work in small groups and uh, speak. Produce the language, do your best, communicate actively. And also that's those spaces are for that because you have to show um, uh, the, the, the level and at the same time socialize questions related to skills and related to uh, personal experience in our jobs. Let's open the breakup rooms and we socialize the questions. Let's go. I can share the the question. Okay. You you watch my screen? Yeah, you I see do. my screen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the number one is what is your best best skill? Hmm. For me, I would say that my best skill is adaptability. I don't know if he say it like that, but I actually think that is my best skill. I used to adapt to a, a lot of situations that may work actually. So yeah, I would say that adaptability, I don't know how to say it, um, is my best skill. It's interesting. Thank you. How about you, Jorge? Well, for me, I think that is uh, the empathy. Yes, I think that um, I like uh, my relationship with the different employees in my work. And you, okay. Manon, what is your best skill? My best skill is... Um, I I like to talk I, I like to talk about the different topic. I always is talking talking uh, um, different topic or different different situation. Okay. Okay. And number two, do you have any surprising skill? Mm, for me, I don't really know because how will you describe a surprising skill? I did search in internet and there were like uh, even uh, like doing something with your hands is a surprising skill. So I don't know what I could call a surprising skill. And I, I actually I don't think I have any. <laughs> Okay. Uh, in, in my case, I think, uh, no, I, I consider a, uh, <laughs> yes, no, I consider a a, 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 a normal person. No, uh, I, I think that I have uh, many skills, but then any surprising, no. Yeah, for example, I like to relationship with a different people. No, I don't know. I, I like to talk about with the people. I like to talk in front of the people. I like to leadership. Yes, but for me, it's no surprising. For me, it's, it's not. It's natural. It's the common skills. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Okay. Um in, in my case is I don't I don't think it's about any surprise good, but it's always when a plantation tree is always grow up grow up the, the tree and give the fruit or or the flowers. Oh okay. It's, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, question number three. What what is your profession? I do very skilled at like this question is like the it's... movie of third what is your profession? <laughs> this question is like a, a, a popular a from a popular a movie like you know this movie I know it is called in English like that, but in Spanish it's like three hundred. So the the Spartan ask Spartans, what is your profession? And they say, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> no, but <laughs> that was to, just to make a, a little meme there. Um, my profession is uh, I am a technical support. I think I'm very skilled at it, but I don't know if I am actually that good. I I think like so some fifty fifty, okay, or more like seventy five, something like that. And you? Well, in my case, just now I am a production manager. And I think that um, for me, uh, I feel uh, so good. I feel so uh, very skilled, but I have many experience, yes. Um, in my area, I have a lot of time uh, to work in this area. Um, I have, uh, let me see, um, 14, 15 years, more or less, uh, in this area. I I work in the different area and the company. For example, I um, a few years ago, I I was um, head of uh, operation. Uh, I managed the a warehouse and the other time I uh, I was a uh, head of years that so I feel that that I have a little bit of skill on that I don't know what about you okay so well, it... have... ah, go ahead Edwin go ahead thank you uh, so in my case I am a bachelor of business administration I work as a con manager and I think the skill um use uh, I am I have in my profession is creative and problem solving and adaptability with everything and be in the date. And I think personal skills, right? Okay. How about you okay. as well? Well, uh, my profession is a degree in business administration, but I never work about my career. Uh, in fact, I work like industrial engineer. Uh, it's, it's some similar, but uh, uh, the truth is diff is different. Uh, there is a big gap between business administration and industrial engineer. Yes. Uh, if I am skilled about that, um, I think about my job. I think I I agree because uh, all experience that I have. 
is about industrial industrial engineer. I think I know uh, a lot, but never enough. So for number four, let's say, what skill are you working on at the moment? Well, in my case, I'm trying to improve my English. Also, I'm trying to improve in uh, in the management of one program called AutoCAD. Maybe husband knows well about the program. AutoCAD is for is for architect. However, I am in a course of that, and I am trying to improve that skill right at the moment. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the skill I working now uh, also that Jose Carlos uh, studying English because I need improve a lot. I uh, I I need to learn a lot very fast. Also, uh, I know I I I had to improve a uh, uh, the uh, skill uh, delegate. I need to. Mejorar? How do you say mejorar? Improve. Improve. I need to. Improve. I need to improve delegate uh, activities uh, to my team. Of my. Uh, also, uh, I need a lot to be more or, or organized. Organized. I need to be uh, more organized. Uh, I, I I I had to work about uh, about that. Because I, I have I have problem. Uh, uh, I I have I have uh, I do my job. I think I think very well. Uh, and when when I have uh, some activity, a specific activity, and very important, I sometimes I prefer uh, uh, I do I do what I do I do it me I do. Uh, but uh, it's necessary uh, I delegate this activity in my team because uh, I need uh, they grow up in development. Okay. But, but I work uh, uh, about that. Okay. okay. But for me, uh, these activities is the same every day. Uh, I try to uh, improve the different skill in my my self uh, life. Yes, uh, I told that uh, I think that uh, I am good for this. Yeah, because I like it. I like that uh, learn. Mm -hmm. uh, all the time, I try to uh, learn because I. I know it's very important, but for me it's uh, really, really complicated. And but I, I try to speak, and I hope I I can speak English in the future. Uh, uh, fluency, yeah. You know. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and the last question, um, uh, which skill uh, would you like to have? Uh, Cipriel, in your case? Uh, well, in my case, I would like to have advanced management and also advanced skills of multi-device programming, or something like that. Uh, what about you, Juan uh, Emerson? And also, Josman. <laughs> <laughs> what about no, you? I don't, I don't think sure. about it. But <laughs> I believe is if I want uh, to show you one, uh, maybe uh, is speak more fluency the English, maybe. Okay, um, in my case, 
I would like to have the ability to program VA. <laughs> uh, I like uh, this new uh, program uh, because it's important to analyze uh, the day that that in my uh, in in the whole 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 company the analysis and this moment because for time no no starting I am here the I would like the sky ability. Juan Carlos. Okay. Uh, in my case, just <laughs> learn English. Uh, consider <laughs> I, I like to have this skill. And no, in because English, yeah. mm -hmm, because I, I think uh, it's very important. Um, I like or I want to uh, um, uh, contribute more to the company. And I consider this, I, I, I want to have these uh, skills, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, we go back to, to everyone and definitely that we had a great time. I could listen to most of the groups and I was like very surprised because I could learn about what you do, about your job positions. And um, most of you have a lot of experience in your positions and because first you, are, you got the experience, also you got the time, you got the resources and everything. And I was thinking, you know, we have people who have been in a job position for uh, 15 years, 20 years, and they, they are good for that one. But for some circumstances of life, imagine that you have uh, you are promoted for a better position or you have to move on to a different department. And, um, and we say, wow, I have been in these positions for a long time. And then I will move to a different one. And also you have to learn new things. And that happens everywhere because all the time we are learning, all the time we're updating things and we don't know when we're promoted or, move, or we have to be in a different position inside the company. So we have to be ready. That's why uh, having skills can help us to be in different places. That is something important. So congratulations to everyone. I was like uh, very, you know, happy to listen to all of you talking, socializing and also expressing your thoughts, ideas and uh, the way that you want to focus every single question. So that was a very nice conversation we had together. Let's continue with the next activity. We have a listening exercise. And what I want you to do is to listen to the following conversation and you have to select the best choice for this. So in this part, I will send you right now in the groups an audio. So you have to listen and then check which is the best answer for each question or statement. 
I'm sending you right now the audio so you will have a time to check the answers. One second, please. Um, team. Okay. So, um, can you see the audio? Can you see the file? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes. Chat. Okay, perfect. So I'll give you um, this time to listen and also uh, uh, select the best answer.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Much better. Okay, so help me to answer. It was a very nice, to, you know, conversation. So we could uh, listen, you know, the speaker, speaker giving us some important details related to, you know, this conversation and also some specific vocabulary. Okay, that was easy or difficult to understand the, the conversation. 50 50. <laughs> uh, 50 50. Okay. Um, for me, it was easy. Okay, perfect. A any other comment about this uh, conversation? No? Is it difficult? So, so. Okay. It would be difficult, maybe. Okay. Well, uh, let's see what happened here. According to the first uh, questions, what answer could you identify? Yes. Uh, number one. Call Psychology. Yes, that was psychology. Yeah, psychology. That was the first. Excellent. And what about the number two? Private language. Private school. language school. Yes. Private language school. Yeah, private language is called. Yes, that's correct. And the number three, what do you have for the next one? Open their, uh, open, their, uh, open their yeah. own restaurants. That's correct. That's great. Open their own restaurants. And what about the number four? What do you have? Mental health treatment center. A treatment center. Yes, the mental health treatment center. That was good. That was good. And uh, the man works at Japanese restaurants and at, you know, that place. And the last, but not least, what do you have in the last one? I just been in psychology that bank. I think. Yes, I agree. Yes. However, I was confusing the first and the, and the third. Ah, it's the same. The same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the same. <laughs> that was a trick. That was a trick. Yeah, that was a little tricky. So has experienced in psychological advising the, the pronunciations. Has experienced in psychological advising. That's okay. And also we see the other words like specializes in grammar instruction, so the vocabulary. So check this one. And that is the answer. Great job for the listening part. And um, a good listener understand the conversation, the context, and also in select the best answers for this one. One of the best ways to uh, maximize or improve listening is by practicing, to be listening all the time. Listen, 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 and it's not going to be any trouble with you. Okay, we have the next activity. And the next activity is this one. Identify the meaning and uh, look for the meaning of the following words. We have, for example, training, uh, learning, informal learning, formal training and development, knowledge management, human capital, development, and explicit knowledge, uh, tacit knowledge, intellectual capital, relationships in the company, customer capital, and knowledge worker. So what I want you to do is try to look for what is the meaning about each word because this vocabulary is very common in general, um, um, vocabulary related to jobs, related to um, companies, and I want you to investigate and know about each one. I also will I will share it um a, a place, a link, 
I will share a link that can help you to identify these words because we need to know what is uh, what is uh, informal learning or what is the formal training and development? What do you understand by that in your own words? And also it's important to know those terms because we can use it in what we do, especially because most of you have uh, great jobs that I could listen um, in the previous conversation. So you can look for in the internet, also you can look for in the dictionary, this vocabulary.
Okay, so I will take a short time to check the um the attendance list. So be ready to the second call and you answer it with present. And Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. It's not here. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge Antonio. Pre Present teacher. Okay, uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Jose. Bernardo, okay. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Jose Salvador Bernal. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present teacher. Thanks. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Sifrid Ernesto Gómez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thanks. Teacher. Yes. Didn't say my name. <laughs> sorry, sorry. One, one second, one second. Manuel. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Okay. Um, have you found most of the terms? Yes. Have you found most of the terms like training, learning? Do you get the information about each one? Let's um, analyze each um, about the first ones. And we have a training. What do you find? What do you find about training? Do you find anything about this vocabulary? Yes, in the training I found the process of teaching or learning a particular job or activity. Mm, okay, that's good. Any other comment uh, related to training? Someone else has a different or similar meaning? Yes, yeah, similar meaning teacher just say that is the action. Training is the action. Okay. Yes, a training yes. is, yeah. The teaching, the action that teaching a person about a specific topic or or a specific um, um, job or task. Job, yeah, task, yeah. Task, okay, that's okay. Well, what I want you to do is because we have a couple of minutes, I know that you have looked for it, uh, the meaning about each uh, term. And so I want you to socialize with your partners, for example, each one, if you find, if you know the word or you found the word so you can express, but in the case that you don't know, you can also, um, you know, let this one. And when we go back to the main sessions, you can ask teacher William, I'm sorry, but I didn't find, for example, intellectual capital could explain us. But meanwhile, if you found most of the words, you can socialize in a briefly way each one. For example, training, as we know, uh, training is a planned effort by the company. Most of the time it could be by a company uh, to facilitate learning or job 
related to competences, knowledge, skills, and behaviors by employees. This is important in the training. So we're gonna go back to the breakup rooms and with the small groups, I want you to uh, share. You can also share one and one. Okay, this is what I have. The second one, you, so you can interchange the vocabulary and you can express your um, ideas about this one. So we're going to have uh, two or three members each because of the time. Okay, so let's start and practice with the vocabulary. Let's go. Uh, and you two concept yes knowledge management is the process by which an enterprise mm -hmm. organize shared and analyze its knowledge in in a way that is easily accessible to employees That is knowledge management. Yes, yes, knowledge management. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, what else? No. Explicit and tacit knowledge. Ah, okay. Explicit knowledge. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Wild explicit knowledge can be formally documented and shared. Tacit knowledge exists inside the head of your employees. Mm -hmm. Explicit knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay. And tacit no tacit knowledge. Yeah. Tacit knowledge exists inside the head of your employees. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was 
Founding, formal training and develop, develop. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, in this case, do you have somebody that teach you and show you how to do it? And number four. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to number five. Knowledge management. Knowledge management. Yes. No, let's Well, I find, I found yeah. it's the process of identifying, organizing, storing, and disseminating, disseminating information okay. within an organization. Okay. And what about the human capital? Um, is the um, human copyright? What? It it seems like uh, the experience. That's it. Is the knowledge, the skills, and health that people invest in their self and accumulate the knowledge in their life. For me, it's something similar to the experience. I don't know. If do you have any other idea? Okay. Uh, human capital is the skills, knowledge, and experience possessed by an individual or population viewed in terms of their value or cost to an organization or country. Uh, I guess it's the skills, knowledge, and experience for us. Okay. Uh, and then for because of the time, move to the next development. Development. Let's say that is a process that creates growth, progress, or it positive change or the additional or psychical yeah yeah the process of great growth yeah. and explicit Thanks. yes explicit knowledge Okay, students, we're about to finish. You know, you know, the time has gone so fast. 
And also, congratulations for the work done. And, and the most important about this vocabulary is that we know the meaning of each one. And also, we can use in a real context uh, to identify um, in a formal way each of the following vocabulary. Um, because of the time, we couldn't like continue with the socializations of other topics. But I'm sharing um, a kind of vocabulary with some ideas or terms related to this vocabulary. So try to check that, to study that one, in the case you don't know one of them, and also practice. So that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for staying here in the class. And I'll see you um, after, see you this coming uh, Friday, because tomorrow we have, um, you know, a holiday, a date off. And also because it's a very special time for many of us here in El Salvador. So thanks a lot, and you're dismissed for this class. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. You too. The next Bye. class is in Friday. Right? Friday. Yes, Friday. Okay. See you Bye. Friday. See you Friday. Okay.